It's like, I want to focus on this, you know? Like, you want to you go ham. All right. So, here we go. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be the first board of, uh, I guess if you want to call it season three, but it is match number 12, the first of the Mario Party 3 boards, and the players we have coming in are, uh, of course, the returning champ in Wario. He did win the final Mario Party 2 match, which I think is either the second or third, I think he won two, out, or two or three out of the six. So very dominating performance from him in Mario Party 2. We'll see if he brings it into three, as well as Waluigi, uh, Donkey Kong, and Yoshi in that order. Again, as always, voted by the people that were here for the live uh, showing of this in the Twitch chat. So, reminder that if you are watching this after the fact, and you want to be involved in the people that play in these matches directly, all you have to do is be here when we do them on Twitch. Um, for the Mario Party 3 boards, we are going to be doing them in order as they appear in the game. So, we are on Chili Waters the first. We have our roles coming in here. It's going to be Yoshi leading, Wario, the returning champ, in second, uh, Waluigi third, and DK fourth. Now, interestingly enough, I think all of these players have won in other versions of the game. Wario, of course, dominating in Mario Party 2, uh, Yoshi dominating in Mario Party 4. And I do think Waluigi snuck in a win. Uh, one sec, as always. If you want to do this at home, all you have to do is pause, switch the settings, and we'll go ahead and have it save after every turn, why not? Yo, Hunter the 100! Thanks for the sub, dude, appreciate it! And we have our rolls coming in here, we actually have Yoshi! Oh, hold up, let me slow this down a little bit. We don't want to rush it. There we go. We want to, we want to see it all, man, we want to see it all. Sorry, this is left from when I did a speedrun the other day. <laughs> Uh, Yoshi landing on the bank on score one though. That's a good sign for him. The luck may be on his side Good stuff out of him to start us off here So before Yoshi took his first move, I believe we talked about um, How the players have done in previous versions. I do think Waluigi snuck in a win DK as well But the two players to watch are going to be again the returning champ and Wario and Yoshi the dominating performer in Mario Party 4. We'll see if their play carries over into Mario Party 3. Uh, no, same mic, Crescendo. New mic settings, though. So we've got our first item minigame coming in here, and it is going to be the Poison Mushroom. Big stuff out of him. Big fan of the Mario Party 3 minigames, as well as the boards. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people, especially people that have been playing Mario Parties for quite a while, um, are actually enjoying this one the most. This might be their favorite. It's tough for me to say, but I would say this one's definitely up there for me on the Mario Parties list. We will see. We will see. Uh, we do have our first minigame coming in. It is going to be a four-player minigame in the form of pipe cleaners. Now this minigame is all about reactions. The players are going to be given a combination of buttons that they have to hit in order to hit the uh, baby bowsers that appear. As you can see on the screen here, and it is up to the players to hit as many as they can in the 30 seconds on the clock. And all the players are flubbing quite a bit. Waluigi getting a bit of a combo going. Wario and DK also doing pretty good as well. And this is really tough, man. Could be anyone's game. Uh, to get a perfect score in this minigame is a 30. We'll see what the highest score on the board here is. The last section does have all four. We'll see if anyone gets all four of them. And Yoshi actually does get all four of the end. That could be uh, big for him. And we do see a 20 out of Yoshi. That final section did give him the edge over DK, and he's going to close out the win. Big stuff by him. Big stuff by him indeed. So Yoshi on top through, I think, turn one here. Yeah, he did land on the bank last time, so he didn't have to pay the penalty, and he won the minigame. Yeah. This is pretty big because it does allow him to buy the lamp, because in this game, lamps are only 20. He does opt to instead go for the skeleton key, though. Very interesting. Oh, but we have a hidden block on the field! 
Woo! A little scary. Unfortunately for him and for Yoshi fans everywhere, it is not a star, it is just 20 coins. But still pretty good nevertheless. And he has quite a dominating coin lead, something that you don't normally see after two turns of play. And I do I do believe the star is in the upper left section of the board. So I'm actually really interested to see uh, how the players will um, handle that. Especially the players that don't have enough money to get to the star right now, or to pay for the star right now. Because you want to get there fast, obviously, but if you get there too fast, you can't pick it up. I think Waluigi realizes this and opts to go right instead of up to give him a little bit of time to build up some of that coinage. The Dong here is dragging his feet, but all is well for him, as he does um, land on the blue coin space, and with a minigame win, he'll have enough money to pick up that uh, star. Yo, Moon Lemur gifting a sub to Crescendo. Dang, Moon Lemur going ham with the gifted subs tonight. Thank you so much, man. I do really appreciate that. All right, now this minigame, relatively simple. The players hit blocks until one of them finds a mushroom. The player to get the mushroom has to take out the other players. Last man standing wins, and it is going to be DK here. Ooh, and he almost had the three-man wipe. Waluigi holding on, but he also goes out quick. And just like that, DK takes the minigame. And like I was saying before the minigame, with that win, it puts him in a spot where he can now buy the star as well. So well played by him. Yoshi rolling a six here, opting to go up top. He does know that he does have the star, or the money to buy a star rather, so he does, he does want to go for that. But we do have an action time coming in. I think our first question mark space. The action time on this uh, board, of course, being this giant snowball that the players have to jump over. If they don't time their jumps, they do get pushed back, and we are going to see that. And that's rather unfortunate because now Yoshi is forced to go to the right instead of up. So even though he has the money, he can't get the star. We do have another action time coming in the form of Wario, but the snowman didn't wake up! And he just gets to chill. Yeah. Waluigi this time, often go for the mushroom, maybe hoping for dubs to get the coin bonus. He does not get it, but it is alright, as uh, he does still get a decent roll. And he chooses to go back around to the shop with only six coins on uh, the bank. He does pick up the skeleton key. And the skeleton keys can come in clutch. Reminder that unlike Mario Party 2, this Mario Party does allow you to have more than one item as well. So picking up the skeleton key is not detrimental. DK does get lucky and just like that, because of the minigame win last turn, he does pick up the star. Well played by him, and we have our first uh, star pickup and position change. It is going to be in the form of the Dong. Our next star right around the starting spot. All players are very far away from that. They're really going to have to work hard if they want to bring it back. DK also triggering the quick time event. We'll see how these guys react to it. Yay! <laughs> I love that. Yo, Arca69. Oh, we are a quick time event. Both players! Feeling the quick time event. Sorry about that. For the two-month resub, who says, Snape killed Dumbledore. Raise cube. Thanks for the two, man. Welcome back. Appreciate your support. And we do have Mario Puzzle Party. Now, Mario's Puzzle Party is probably one of the more um, thought-provoking minigames, I should say. There's a reliance on the players to create combos of two of the same color or more at once to create chains of combos that do uh, give you increasing amounts of points. We are going to see a, uh, a duke, a duke out, a, a free-for-all match first to 100 points. And we do have quite a combo from Dong, but as I say that, Wario answers back. Yoshi also on the right-hand side is creeping ahead with 45 points now. A pretty even spread all across the board so far. 
Pretty close game within 10 points apiece. Now, DK's board is getting quite cluttered. If you do fault the board, you do break and cannot finish the minigame, so it's crucial that you don't do that. Yoshi, though, with a big combo, bringing his score to 73. We are getting into the closing moments of the game here with another good chain to bring his score up to 90. But he does have to close this out. A good combo from any of these other players could push them over the barrier. Yoshi on 94, DK on 90, very close game here. Oh, but Yoshi does hang on and bring it with 103. Good stuff by him. Shout outs to the Yosh man. I do believe DK has won one single board in Mario Party 4. All of these guys, I think, have won at least once. Wario and Yoshi have been the two that have won the most, though. They are uh, historically the people that, in these grudge matches, do win the games. However, since Mario Party 3 is uh, new to this series, we have no stats on Mario Party 3 individual. We have another item minigame, and it is Swing and Swipe. This minigame is uh, pretty fun. It's one of the more fair ones. In fact, it's probably the freest one because you really can get whatever you want from this. You know, it's all you have to do is pick the item you want and then hit the uh, baby Bowser that has it. Something of note is that the Boo Bell is in the far right. We'll see if Wario offs to go for that one. As I said, he actually goes for the far left. He goes literally as far away from that one as possible and gets the reverse mushroom. Now, the reverse mushroom is new to this series in Mario Party 3. It is an item that uh, the player can either use to have other players go backwards or themselves. Now, this is really big because it does allow you to go back um, where a branching path is and go the opposite direction on the following turn, which can make it very, very strong if used properly. We do have another quick time of it. DK the only one into the path of it. Will he hit it? He does hit it. Good stuff by him. Now Waluigi in the path of the second. Both players nailing the quick time, so they do maintain their spot on the board. And we have another mini game. It is going to be in the form of a 1v3. And it is going to be ridiculous relay. Now this mini game is very interesting, uh, somewhat similar to the the minigame that we saw in Mario Party 2 in the form of the penguins, however, the only difference here is uh, the players are all given different tasks. So as you can see here, Waluigi is gliding. There is no other controls other than to move up and down to dodge the bullet bills. Wario, on the other hand, does have to alternate those A and B presses. The second player in the wacky relay uh, often getting the hardest, which is going to be the spider in the form of Yoshi. As you can see here, they have to do both up and down on the joystick and alternating A and B presses. It can be very confusing, and usually the solo player will gain some ground on this section. And it looks like, as I say that, Waluigi does, but will it be enough? The last section of this relay, a pure mash fest. All the player has to do is mash that A button, and it is neck and neck here through 450 meters. Very tense. Both players are fairly even, but DK does have a slight edge, and it's looking like with that hit, he's going to be able to close it out. He does, in fact, do it, and just like that, the team of three does grab that win. That is going to be Wario, Yoshi, and DK. Big stuff. Now, as you can see here, we do have uh, quite a spread for this early in the game. It is going to be uh, Yoshi with quite a coin lead, but no stars. Uh, Wario with a moderate amount, uh, Waluigi with nothing, and then again, DK does have that one star, the only star in the map so far. Waluigi again going around the board. Reminder to people that um, either don't remember or might have just come in, the current location of the star is in the bottom right, close to the starting spot, so all of the players are in some type of mad dash to try to get back to that section of the board, which is why they're going up and around right now. And we do have a Bowser space. Let's see what this Bowser uh, space is going to be, and it is going to be Bowser's Curse. Now, Bowser's Curse is interesting because it, uh, I, if it is what I believe it is, 
it does limit the number of moves they're able to do uh, the following turn. And because all players are cursed, it does really limit what they're capable of. So that's definitely going to slow down the pacing of the game quite a bit. And we do have a 1v3 minigame, and it is going to be in the form of Coconut Conk, a minigame that heavily favors a team of three. Uh, this minigame is all about nailing that player in the barrel. The player in the barrel has to move left and right to dodge, and the players up top have to ground pound to try to hit him with a coconut. 30 seconds on the clock. And we'll see how Waluigi does here. Playing the mid-ground, but just like that, he goes out on the third ground pound from Wario. Again, this minigame does normally uh, favor the team of three. And uh, again, it proves to do just that as they do grab that win. Ooh, and with this Bowser's Curse, it does increase the chance that Yoshi will go to a game guy. And, but he fails! He slips on the ice, and as a result, he maintains his spot on the board. That could be big because Yoshi had quite a bit of money. A game guy uh, loss by him would have been huge. Would have been hugely detrimental. We have yet another action time. This time both Wario and DK on the first section here. And you do want to hit this. Reminder, the star is in the bottom right. If the players fail these action commands, they're going to push be pushed very far back. I think all the players realize that uh, that is the case, and they do nail those jumps. Good on them. For those of you that are uninitiated, Game Guy is a Mario Party 3 unique space that, if landed on, uh, forces you to gamble all of your money. So in the case of Yoshi, it would have been 68 coins uh, in the form of some type of gambling minigame. Oh, but DK does land on the bank, and that is going to be a pickup of 20 coins by him. That's pretty substantial. Miss Red Dot with the Jumon resub. They're not those raised bees. Thank you so much, Mrs. Red Dot. I do very much appreciate the two months a lot. And we do have Chip Shot Challenge to any golf fans in the chat. Uh, this minigame's for you. This minigame is all about getting as close as you can to the hole. We'll see if we see any hole in ones here. Stop! DK, the first one to take a shot. And he actually gets the hole in one! Can you believe it? One shot, one hole in one. There it is. We'll see if any of the players can match him here. Yoshi now taking a shot, and unfortunately, he does not do it. Wario is now taking a shot. And we see another hole in one! Yoshi, the only one uh, failing to get the hole in one through three shots. Mario, or Waluigi now taking a shot. And oh my goodness, can you believe it? We see three out of four hole in ones out of these players. Very unfortunate if you were a Yoshi fan, but these guys are going to be taking home that win. Waluigi, DK, and Wario, all three hitting those hole in ones. Big stuff, man. Big stuff. Brando, thank you for the 500 biddies, who says, My boy Luigi. Waluigi, rather. Much appreciated, man. Yoshi again rolling. We'll see if he can make it up the glass this time. He does successfully dodging that game guy. But because he got stuck on the ice, that is going to put him a little bit uh, back behind the other players in terms of getting to that star. Wario, I think, the closest to the star at this moment in time. We're going to see another item minigame, this time for Waluigi. We'll see what's at stake here. It is going to be Hey Batter Batter. Now this minigame is all about timing your swing to hit the item that you're looking for. We'll see the items that are at stake. It is going to be the Bowser cosplay in the form of the Bowser suit, the reverse mushroom, the plunder chest, the poison mushroom, and the skeleton key. We'll see what he opts to go for here. The wind up and the pitch. And he's going to grab that reverse mushroom. Again, a very powerful item. Big stuff for Waluigi. And again, we have yet another. We're getting so many uh, happening spaces here. But this time, uh, it's going to be coming from the opposite angle. And this time, if you're 
Ah, yes, a very smart move by DK to not jump because it does give him that boost. Again, the players are going to want to get hit by the mushroom or the, uh, the the ball here, and they do realize that. They do sacrifice a boost phase for it, but it does bring both Wario and DK very close to the star, much closer than they were before. So that's a big move by him. Now this is going to be MPIQ for our next mini game. It is a trivia mini game that if you are a speedrunner or you're playing with speedrunning, uh, speedrunners or trolls, everyone just mashes. Uh, even though it is all about reading the question and making the select or the the correct answer rather. DK, the first one to buzz in on this first question here, and he does get it right. It's either a, I think it's a first to two, so he's already half of the way there. Which one do you press? The answer to this question, of course, is going to be Z. Sorry, R. <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> Wario does get that right, though, and it is one to one DK to Wario at the moment. Yoshi now also evening up the scoreline. The players are really thinking hard about this question. Yoshi does buzz in and does nail it. All these players are on point. We've had four questions and four correct answers so far. What is thinking about this? He buzzes in DK and he does get it right. We are five for five. These guys are Trivia geniuses! What number of the Mario Party series are you playing? It is going to be three, that is the correct answer. These guys are thinking about it. Will Wild you get it correct? He does chime in with a B and we have a six question correct answer streak. Uh, Yoshi and Wario both a, a question away from success. But DK has a chance to even up the scoreline and he does do it. We have three players at match point now. We'll see who can close it out. Players are all waiting the question on this. They really want to think about it. Wario knows what's on the line and he does answer correctly. And that's going to be a win for Wario. Just like that, he does close it out. Good stuff by him, man. Good stuff by him. Now all players actually gathering quite a decent number of coins. Zack Zag with the 31 month resub. They're not the raised piece. Raised piece in the chat, guys. Thank you very much, Zack Zag, for your continued support. Now Yoshi does have a skeleton key. Interesting choice here because this is taking away from the star. But we have a chance time. And an early chance time could still be beneficial to all players here. Because there is a star in play, which means we could see a star change hands. We'll see how it plays out here. And it is two stars on the field. And DK, the only person with stars, is the recipient. So, unfortunately, this is going to be a dud. But I liked where your heart was at with that one, Mr. Yoshi. Maybe try that again in a few turns. And we're gonna see nothing. We're gonna see Bupkis. Bob kiss out of that chance time. Ooh, now a smart move by Wario to use... Oh, is he using that on Yoshi? Wait. No, he's using it on himself so he can go back to the boost base. This is an interesting move by him. So we can steal those coins from DK to hopefully prevent him from being able to buy the star. We'll see how it goes. Not sure I agree with this move, but he's going for it anyways. This is definitely a bold move. If it pays off, it could be huge. Unfortunately though, he is not going to get enough coins because Donkey Kong has way too many coins to steal um, to the point where he can't buy a star, but... Wait! This man has a 200 IQ blade! He's going back in! He's double dipping! This man is a genius! A tactical god in the form of Wario to steal the star from DK! That is huge! This man made a... This man's playing in the year 3017, man. And now he gets to go back! Holy crap! That is a huge play from Wario. Probably one of the best plays we have seen from these, these CPUs on literally any grudge match that we've done up to this point. 
That is insane! We have another Bowser's face in the form of DK, and it is going to be Bowser's Reverse Curse, which is going to allow both DK and Wario to go back to that boost face again, so we could see more shenanigans over the next turn. So uh, DK actually potentially changing the flow of the game. Sorry, Waluigi changing the flow of the game because now DK also gets to go back to that boo, but he doesn't roll high enough. Unlucky for him. The Dong was hoping for something big, and he got literally the only roll that you couldn't have gotten to get to go to the boo, so unfortunate for him. This is going to be on the hard difficulty for people that are wondering. We do have a 2v2 in the form of a slot sync. Now this minigame is all about having the two players hit the blocks at the same time in order to score points. As you can see in the background, Toads are three, Goombas are two, Goombas are one, and the Bowser, Baby Bowsers are minus one. We have the team on the left here with an early lead, one to zero, but there are still 20 seconds on the clock. Both teams now hitting a Toad, which is going to again keep the score line at uh, a difference of one. But as I say that, we have a change of lead as the team on the right does get a Goomba. Oh, just like that, we have another position change with that Koopa pickup. It is five to four. But in the closing seconds, the team on the right closes out a Toad to uh, snag that W. That is going to be Yoshi and Waluigi. Big stuff out of him. Seraph Jaguar with the 15-month reset, who says, looks like a real party. That it is, man. Thank you for the 15. Welcome back. <coughs> Yoshi getting to go backwards actually is an interesting move because it is going to trigger that battle minigame. This is our first battle minigame of the board. We'll see what it's worth here. It's worth nothing, which means the battle minigame fails to happen. We don't see that happen very often, ladies and gentlemen. So just like that, the battle minigame that was going to happen now does not happen at all. Uh, Wario also rolling low, well, rolling low with that reverse curse, uh, which forces him to uh, not benefit from that boo, but that's okay, he's trying his best here. And Waluigi going from one Bowser's face to another with that roll. Scoots with the 33 month reset. He says, just got here, can't believe I missed the start of the grudge match. Here's my apology, forgive me, please. Hey, it's all good, man. Thanks for the 33, welcome back. And just like that, we have another reverse curse, which gives DK another chance to go back to that boo. Uh, Waluigi here, changing the flow of the game every single turn with these Bowser spaces. We'll see if, uh, ooh. We'll see if DK opts to go for the same strat that Wario went for. This time opting to steal from Yoshi, which is interesting. Uh, he made the choice to not steal from the first place player and instead go for the person with the most coins. So that is actually uh, the smart play. So good stuff by DK to use that noggin of his to make the right choice. And we'll see which way he decides to go. He does, though, choose to flirt with disaster. And that is going to be a chance time. This is huge, man. We could see another changing of hands as far as stars are concerned. Thank you, Joe, for the two-month reset. Throw out those rays, peace. Appreciate it, man. We'll see what the chance time is, though. It's going to be three stars! And he does hit himself, but he doesn't have a star, so again, this chance time is going to be Bubkiss. Unfortunately for him, his heart, again, was in the right place, but it was not meant to be. The good news is, he does keep his money, and with a minigame win, he can steal that star back on the next turn. We'll see. So there's a lot on the line here. A minigame win for the team of three, which includes DK on it, would be huge. So uh, all our eyes are on them as they try to survive. Crazy Cogs 
This minigame similar to the minigame in Mario Party 2 in which a solo player does control a lever, as you can see in the top left, which changes the direction of the platform. It's up to the players to survive. There are bullet bills that are flying in at all times. 20 seconds on the clock here. All players still doing a very good job of hanging in there. Waluigi's really going to need to mix up his strategy if he wants to see a win here. 10 seconds. All players still, still alive as we enter into the final five seconds. Just like that though, DK go, does go out. And DK, the player that needed to win this minigame, did go out. However, his team, Wario and Yoshi, did hold on and he is going to have the money. We could be seeing another position change this turn. We'll see how it goes. However, Wario does go first and with that reverse curse, a high enough roll would allow him to steal coins back from DK. Oh, but we have another chance, son! This is our third one, and we're not even halfway through the game yet. We'll see what could happen this time. This, this board is wild, guys. This board is absolutely nuts. Yoshi going back to the chance time again. And this time, Yoshi is going to be the recipient. What's at stake here? It is a star. Could Yoshi get a star? And unfortunately, man, the planets aligned... Uh, but it wasn't enough. Yoshi gets nothing. And this is our third chance time in which literally nothing has happened. So these guys are walking a very thin line, but all of them are holding on <laughs> through these chance times. But Wario does roll high enough, and we are, if he makes the right choice, going to see a coin steal from DK to save that star. But unfortunately, he makes the wrong decision and instead decides to steal from Yoshi. Which does mean we are probably going to see a star steal. Wait! I think he still has spaces left. He could go back and do it again. And I think he might do that. Oh, he chooses not to. A questionable move, but we have a hidden lock! And it is going to be a barter box. This is a very rare Mario Party 3 item that I believe does uh, bring down the prices of items at the shop. I don't know that with 100% certainty, but that item does not come out very often. So that is a very rare item. Again, that is a Mario Party 3 specific item. And DK does have the chance to steal stars, but instead he's stealing coins from Yoshi again. I don't know what everyone has it out for Yoshi for, but literally... Yoshi is getting robbed right now. DK choosing to not, again, DK chose to not steal a star. I need to reiterate, and instead decided to steal coins from Yoshi of all people. Oh, uh, we do have a correction here. The barter box allows you to trade items with all players. The more you know, thank you for that, uh, that tactical play person in chat. Good stuff, good stuff. Again, that is an item that we do not see very often, which is why I'm, I was unsure on the use of it. Now we do have another 1d3. Uh, this is going to be another race. It's on the solo player to handle all three inputs, whereas the team of three uh, each only have to handle an individual input. However, a tech flub will cost you, and getting hit by a snowball will also cost you. So it's up to these players to both space out their, their inputs and their presses so they don't get hit by a snowball, but also not flub too much. And it is neck and neck here as we approach the end of this track. We've got one final snowball to make it through. Both players make it through the snowball, all right? Oh, and this is so close, but the team of three edges it out by pixels. Literally frames for these guys. We are now in last 10 turns, which means we have hit the halfway point, and we have yet to see a second star purchase yet, which is very interesting. Ooh. Now, interesting here, uh, Wario does bust out the barter box, and he really wants... He really wants that reverse mushroom. He's done a lot with it so far, so he is going to be swapping items and picking that one up for himself. Questionable move. But, you know, maybe he knows something that we don't. But 
He is going back to Boo for like the 50th time. Uh, because he does already have the star though, he is going to steal coins and that is going to be in the form of a DK steal. <laughs> Thank you, Monument Does Drake. Good luck with your HUD. Wario stealing coins. So now actually, Wario the coin leader and star leader. Wario with quite a dominating lead as we approach the halfway point on this board. So we've seen some really pro plays and some questionable plays. Which really means that it is a toss-up to see what is going to happen. Waluigi answering back and hitting Wario with the poison mushroom. Wario's been involved in some type of tomfoolery literally every turn, it feels like. We do have Waluigi opting to. Is he gonna go for the lamp? We have a lamp purchase! Now, a little fun fact for you guys. Uh, we did not see a single lamp purchase in all of Mario Party 2. But on the very first board of Mario Party 3, we do see it in the form of Waluigi. Again, for people who might be new to the Mario Party series, a magic lamp in this game does take you exactly to the start. So it is uh, kind of a, if you will, get out of jail free card. If you don't want to take the time to get to the star yourself, you can just use that item and it takes you right there for you. Both of these players nailing the action command. And they have another shot at it, as it is again unleashed upon the pack. Yeah. Interesting, he opted to throw the snowball there too, and which means he paid some of his own money for that, so I don't know what he was going for with that. I think he was maybe hoping the snowball would come from the left instead of the right for that little uh, boost in position, but it didn't happen. But we have another hidden block! And it is going to be a star in the form of DK. DK, just like that, is brought back into it. And we now have two stars on the field in the hands of both Wario and the Dong. Another four-player minigame, and this time it is going to be Rockin' Raceway. For those of you who don't know what this minigame is, it is, of course, as you can see here on the screen, a horse racing minigame in which the players have to mash both A and B together to make their horse go quickly. However, there is a stamina bar. Go too fast and you risk burnouts. It's all about maintaining that rhythm. Wario playing a very fine game and he burns out. Waluigi also playing a very fine game as this final stamina bar goes out. Yoshi and DK playing very conservatively, as you can see here. As we approach our first item, you do want to hit this when it is golden, as you can see by DK. He does get that boost. He doesn't have to worry about stamina. All other players hitting the blue carrot and spinning out. That's going to give DK quite an edge as we enter into the home stretch here, as you can see. We reach our second carrot. DK does hit the boost, and that's going to be huge. He should be able to run away with this one, guys. It's looking like he is going to do just that. The Dong closing it out. And rather, uh, rather, uh, I don't know, he was showboating there at the end, man. It was a blowout. Wasn't even close. And just like that, the first place lead is now four coins apart. One star and 75 and one star and 71 coins apiece. Yoshi really hasn't done much this game. He was a very, very strong contender in the early matches of this series. Again, he did dominate in Mario Party 4, which is where the series originated from. But we didn't really see a lot out of him in Mario Party 2, and he's been struggling so far through this board, you know. I'm hoping he comes to life just because it would be awesome to uh, see some hype out of him. But he does land on the uh, Happening Space. Again, reminder, Happening Space is one of the bonus stars in this game, so uh, that is big. Wario choosing to again use the reverse mushroom on himself. He's gonna be going back. I feel like at this point he's been going backwards as many turns as he's been going forwards to go back to that boo, but it doesn't pay off. He wanted to steal that star from DK, but he didn't roll high enough, and unfortunately for him, it's not going to work out. DK though, Getting the hidden block last turn, getting the actual star this turn, allowing him to breeze into the lead, just like the minigame, he is now dominating the actual uh, Battle Royale board as well. And we have another position change. 
in the form of the dong. Ooh, and that's got a sting if you're a Waluigi fan. He is standing literally on the star space. Uh, nevertheless, though, a minigame win will allow him to use the lamp if he wants, and he can still pick up that star. We do have a 1v3 minigame in the form of hide and sneak. This minigame is all about mind games. The team of three can choose to hide behind any prop, and it's up to the solo player, in this case Yoshi, to choose which rock or tree stump or shrub or house that the players are hiding behind. He does choose the house, and uh, unfortunately for him, he does not select the right one. There are still two rounds left. Uh, those of you who have seen or played Mario Party 4 might recognize uh, this game plays similarly to the Ken minigame. Same concept in play here. He does choose the stump and he does get DK. Now, if Waluigi and Wario play this right, they should be able to guarantee the win. All they have to do is split their hiding spots, which is all about communication. We'll see if they do do that successfully. As Yoshi does pick the bush and they do not. They take a gamble and they hide in the same spot, but it pays off. And they are going to grab the win. They are going to grab the win. So that win does give Waluigi enough money, if he chooses to, to use the lamp this turn and potentially snag the star. We'll see if he does choose to do just that. But a big roll from Yoshi could potentially allow him to come in and snag out the star from underneath Waluigi. And he's going to do just that. And we do have a star pickup from Yoshi. Surprising. He needed a high roll and he got a high roll. That's big stuff from the Yoshi man. Yo, Mike Tizzle with the 13 month reset who says easy W for the dong. We'll see, man. We'll see. Man, and that's got a sting. Again, if you're a Waluigi fan, not only was he on the star. Oh, we have a hidden block! That is gonna be a star from Yoshi, and just like that, he goes from third into second place and picks up not only one, but two stars. Big, big stuff by the Yosh man. Coming alive on that turn. Yo, Nana with a three month resub who just says raise P, raise P's in the chat, guys. Thanks so much. I do much appreciate that. And we are going to see another star pickup. Waluigi says, you know what? I don't even care that he took that star. I'll just use the lamp and get my own star. And he is going to do just that in the form of the watermelon genie. Shout outs to this guy, probably one of the best genies in the entire Mario Party series, if you ask me. And this is actually big because it steals the star out from underneath Wario's nose. Wario was only a few spaces away from this. So that's actually a big pickup for Waluigi because he not only gets on the board, but he denies Wario another star as well. And this star is going to be closest to no one, actually. Everyone's really far away from this. Potentially Yoshi could get that, but uh, we'll see. Yeah. Waluigi does choose to pick up a mushroom. We'll see how that goes. Yeah. Uh, this is actually, I think, Waluigi's first ever appearance. In any game, not just a Mario Party. I think Daisy as well. We do have a four-player minigame, and it is going to be Parasol Plummet. If you guys are unfamiliar with the yellow text minigames, it is a take what you get. There is no distinct clear-cut winner or losers. Players get to keep their winnings. So this could be big for everyone. We'll see how the minigame plays out. Stop. We have a little bit of a rivalry here between Waluigi and Yoshi. They are hitting each other. Oh, Yoshi with a very sick line to snag out a lot of coins, but we do have a bag pick up from, I think, DK. Our second bag is out in play. We'll see if anyone gets that. It is picked up by Waluigi. Waluigi now sitting on 11 coins. Wario with 10. Wario picking up a bag as well. That's huge. All players now, except for Yoshi, over the 10 coin uh, minimum that you get from a minigame win. So, uh, big games by all players, but the biggest games in the form of Waluigi and Wario. Picking up 20 and 19 coins, respectively. 
And this is really heating up, guys. There's only a one star gap between fourth place and first place. So this is still really anyone's game. Mario, though, sitting on 110 coins. Probably uh, by far the most number of coins we've seen so far. Yoshi, though, does land on the Game Guy space. Again, uh, for those of you who don't know about Game Guy, uh, Game Guy does allow you to win huge, but you can also uh, get nothing if you do lose. This is going to be a roulette minigame, and this the players have to choose. Uh, they have to choose which they think the roulette wheel will stop on. Yoshi, a heavy better, off to go for the times eight in the form of the Goomba. We'll see. A times eight here for Yoshi, who had 28 coins, would be huge. Would put him over 200. It is slowing down. And it is going to be the Koopa, the times two. Unfortunately for him, he gambles big, it does not pay off, and he is going to have to hold that L. He gets hit by the hammer of justice. Boom, there it is. See you later, man. And the Yoshi now is sitting on nothing. Nothing for the Yoshi man. Wario also getting dangerously close to Game Guy, and with 108 coins, you really gotta be careful. You really gotta be careful. Yeah. Waluigi coming alive with a mushroom roll, but he rolls very low, so unfortunately it's not really gonna play out too well for him. He does only get six spaces out of that, but you know, better to guarantee those six instead of gamble and get the six, am I right? DK, though. Making his way around the board here. And he does land on the bank in the process. And that's huge because with 20 coins in the bank, that brings him dangerously close to where Wario's at. So it's now uh, still anyone's game as far as the coin star is concerned. Perp Nerd with the 250 bits. Thanks for those bits, man. And thanks for supporting charity. We do have Handline and Sinker. This minigame is all about the solo player and whether or not the team of three can wiggle out of the way of the fishing pole, but through one cast, uh, that is not proven to be the case. Will Yoshi get the three for three? 100% accuracy. And just like that, he snags it out and wins in 11 seconds flat. Yoshi, the masterful fisherman. What a legend. That, sh that quick shutdown is definitely something you don't see very often. Yo, which Fenris with the 11 month reset? This is almost one whole year of adorable foxes. Hope you've had a lovely 2017. Here's to an amazing 2018. Thank you so much, uh, Fenris. Much appreciated, and welcome back. We do have another Bowser space, though, and it is going to be in the form of the Bowser suit giveaway. We are going to see that Bowser cosplay coming to life. Bowser giving away his lizard suit to a slightly smaller lizard so he can uh, buff up a bit. That's actually a pretty big pickup because uh, DK is in front of him and hitting DK with the Bowser suit on will allow him to steal some coins. Ooh, and with Waluigi getting in front of Yoshi on that turn too. This could be big. This could be very big. Ooh, but DK... Hoping for the left side snowball, will he get it? Moment of truth time. And he does get it, which could be, th this is actually big because no one else is in the way. So if he fails to jump here, this is actually going to put him oh, closer to the star, but he chooses to not do it anyways. He just wanted to pay money uh, to prove a point, I guess. I don't really know what he's going for there, but we have a battle mini game. Here we go. It is going to be a 10 coin, which is uh, nothing nothing crazy, but it is our first battle minigame, and you always like to see those, so we'll see how it goes. The battle minigame is going to be in the form of Storm Chasers, if we have any weather fanatics in the chat, this minigame is for you. Uh, this minigame is all about making sure your plant gets more water than the enemy players, but you gotta watch out for those Monty Moles. They'll huck you up, man. They will definitely heck you up. 
And Yoshi gets hit by the mole. Perfect example of what we're talking about here. 20 seconds left on the clock. And it's still anyone's game. DK getting a decent amount of water there, though. Wario also getting a decent amount of water. Ooh, Waluigi, I think, might have taken the lead with that. But this is still a toss-up. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. And I think DK might have snagged it out there at the end, but we'll see. Moment of truth time. And he did snag it out. He is going to grab that win. So that is going to be 28 coins to DK and 12 to Waluigi. And I think with that win, DK is going to be able to take that uh, coin star lead. Which is big as we get closer to the late game. And he does. There you go. Ooh, we've got a 1v3 in the form of Boulder Ball. Boulder Ball is uh, quite the minigame. Generally, it favors the team of three, but we'll see how these guys played out. It is up to the solo player to knock down the team of three to prevent them from getting up the hill. They do have 30 seconds to do it. It's all about spacing here. It's all about spacing and angles, and we'll see if Yoshi realizes that. And he does so far as he takes out all three players with one single boulder. Yoshi holding down the fort so far. Again, taking out Wario. DK, though, with a slight edge here. And we're seeing incredible stuff from Yoshi so far. With 10 seconds left on the clock, I think he might be able to close it out. He is going to need to hit Wario soon, though. Wario getting dangerously close. And that hit might put him away. Yoshi does the impossible and closes it out. Shout out to the Yoshi man. Big plays by him on that minigame for sure. Wario got dangerously close, but that clutch hit at the end was big for Yoshi to close it out. And we are in the last five turns, which means things are about to get real. Our current leaders, DK, Yoshi, Wario, and then Waluigi. We'll see who the winner is predicted to be. It is going to be... Wario! Wario does get the 10 coin bonus. Now, I believe you can duel for stars in this Mario party. If that is actually correct, we could see some intense duels as a lot of players are very close together. Yoshi does opt to bust out the Bowser cosplay. And we'll see how he uh, does with this. This could be big. And Waluigi gets dropped. That's going to be plus 20 for Yoshi so far. I don't think he's going to be able to get anyone else, but he does land on the bank, which is pretty nice for him. But he does preserve the coins he did steal, so that's pretty big for him. Now, this is really pretty interesting. We have a back and forth race for the coin star in the form of Wario and DK. It seems like every turn, these guys are having position changes in terms of who can push the star or the coin count uh, farther. Oh, but we have a game guy, and that's really risky with 115 coins. This is a very, very important game guy, guys. All eyes on DK as he goes to this. And it is going to be the chain chomps. We've got a times two and a times 32 in play here. For people who do not know, it is up to the player to successfully pick the chomp that they feel is going to eat the cake faster. He does make the safe bet. It is going to be in the form of the times two on the big end. We'll see if we can see the upset. And it is not going to happen. DK does play it safe, and it does pay off. And that's a huge win for DK. That is going to put him well over 200 coins as we approach the late game. That's going to be 230 coins to DK. That is huge. That is very, very substantial, as there's not a lot of time for players to catch up to that. Like, we're gonna need to see a chance time, or we're gonna need to see another game guy win if anyone wants to be able to beat that. We do have Frigid Bridges, though. The mini game that uh, I'm not personally a fan of, but some people might like. It's a mini game all about your angles. You gotta have very, very good uh, notches on your joystick, because it is on the players to successfully navigate this bridge that you can fall off from back and forth three times. 
And they do have to worry about the cheap cheap, as you can see there, it does, uh, get Wario. I think all of the other players on their final block. Waluigi with a slight edge, but Yoshi hot on his heels. And it is going to be Wario that closes that one out. I'm the best. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Um, but a win for Waluigi, nevertheless. Look at his face. What in the world? That was questionable. Questionable face. Four turns left, though. We're going to need to see big players uh, really step up to the plate here if they want to be able to snag out the W. And we have an action time, and it would benefit both players here, both Wario and Yoshi, to not jump. We'll see if they realize this. They do, in fact, realize it. And again, they probably want to miss this. Yoshi realizes this, Wario does not. DK, though, does in fact realize it. And just like that, ooh, Yoshi almost gets the star, but he's one space away. That's gotta sting, man. That's gotta sting. And instead, he gets a Bowser space. We'll see what it is going to be. It is going to be 30 coins for Bowser, which is even worse. So now, not only does he not get the star, now he doesn't have the money to get the star either. And for like the 50th time, Yoshi goes back to nothing. Zero coins. Wario can get the star, he's gonna need a high roll, he does not get it, and we are going to potentially see another star pickup from DK, so... DK, both the coin and star leader. DK very, very much coming alive in the end game of this board. But Wario does have a chance to go to that boost base and steal a star, so there is that, which could be... could be big. Very curious to see how the following turns play out here. Ooh, Waluigi though with a misplay. Fails the, the quick time event and he is going to get knocked back. Now Waluigi here, I feel like at this time is intentionally missing. Maybe he's playing ahead for the next star. He realizes that this one's already gone. We'll see man, a risky move by him. Could pay off. We are going to see a star pickup from DK. We'll see if Waluigi's gamble on star positioning pays off as we do get our next spot on the board and it's going to be actually, ooh, two spaces away. Actually, no, that's right where Waluigi's going. So Waluigi with the heads up play to actually put himself right in front of the next star. Big stuff from Waluigi. He took a gamble and it paid off. We're going to have another 2v2 minigame. This time it is pump pump and away. And this is a minigame that requires extreme focus because it's all about you getting into a rhythm with your pumping to maximize the distance that your rocket goes. If both players aren't focusing their hardest, then it is very easy for the other team to snag out the victory here. We'll see how this goes. And here we go. Both rockets making it through the 100 yard mark relatively easily. 200, 300 now, and these guys are gonna start to be. Ooh, they're gonna start pooping out, and it is a win for Waluigi and the Yosh Man. Yo, Mr. Ponger with the 8 month reset. This says, hey, Raising y'all, been a while since I've visited the stream, been hard at work on finals. Yo, nice, congrats on the graduation, man. Raise peace in the chat, thanks for the 8. All right, here we go. Yoshi does land on a battle minigame, and if this is a 50 coin battle minigame, this could be, this could be huge. We'll see how it goes. It is 20, which is uh, definitely something. We're gonna need a lot of these changing of hands if we want to have anyone potentially catch up to uh, the coin lead that DK did get on that 230. It is going to be in the form of three door Monty. Probably one of the more intense... Oh, never mind. Uh, my bad, I misinterpreted. This minigame is all about reactions, man. Uh, the players have to monitor which door the Toad, Koopa, and Boo go into, and then uh, there is going to be a 
person that asks which one is in which, and it's up to the players to react the fastest. We'll see how it goes. And I think Wario did edge that one out in a quarter of a second. Big stuff by him, and he is going to grab that win. DK actually does get fourth here, with him, which means he will be getting no money, uh, which is big. And Wario, again, the second place coin leader, does need that win if he wants to bring himself back into this. Waluigi also uh, snags out a win, which I think does enable him to get the star. 250 bits from the Long Hero, who says, uh, Charity is done, put this money towards the Dank Meme Foundation. Clerks for life. Well, in any case, the charity doesn't care about what you think, and the money goes towards charity anyways. <laughs> Thanks for the bits, so long, Kiro. Also, thank you uh, to Wario. If you are a Wario fan for stealing that star from DK and bringing himself back into it, taking that star away from DK. Ooh. And it is going to be Bowser's coin potluck, which does force all players to contribute money to the pot. But you know what? That's all right. Unfortunately, though, if you're a Waluigi fan, that's not all right, because now he can't buy the star. That's a huge play. He's going to need a 1 if he wants to stay in this. Oh, and he doesn't get it, so that Bowser play is huge! Waluigi now unable to buy the star. Unlucky. Unlucky, man. Now DK is on the attack. He knows that he is close to the star and he can get one with high enough rolls before the board ends. And he's going for it. However, he does buy a reverse mushroom. These guys have been reverse mushroom themes. We'll see what he opts to do with that. Whoa, Shy with the 250 bits for charity. Thanks again for that, man. And we do have another ridiculous relay. This time the solo player is going to be Wario. Uh, again, generally, the team of three does benefit from this minigame. But if the solo player does successfully dodge most of the obstacles here, there is a chance that they can still squeeze out that win, but they're going to need to get a lead early on. The first and uh, the first and second stages are really the only chance that the solo player has to get ahead of the team of three. Yoshi again on the spider section, uh, doing relatively well. Still neck and neck with Wario, and that's not gonna be good enough, but Wario does take a slight lead here through 350 meters. We'll see if this lead is enough going into the final section for him to hold on to that win. But as he is starting behind going into this section, it's not looking likely. Yoshi really clutched it out there in the end game of his section. And with that hit, it is probably going to put it out of reach. It is, and DK does pick up the win for his team. Interesting stuff, man. Now, this is this is very like you, you gotta wonder about these like 1v3 minigames. Because if you're some of these guys, it actually benefits you to lose because other people don't get money, which prevents them from doing things. And I wonder if the players are thinking about that, or if they're just kind of playing the minigame because they need the money themselves. Wario. Landing on the bank! We have had another I think this is probably one of the highest bank spaces that we've uh, games that we've had. That is going to be another pickup for Wario. Oh, and we have a chance at another battle minigame, but it is not going to happen. Waluigi instead playing it safe and going for the blue space. The Dong, though, is going to be picking up another star as he does traverse the board and snag it out from under Waluigi's nose. Waluigi really struggling this game. Uh, first, he spawned on the star, or I guess the star spawned on him. And then second, uh, secondly, he was one turn away, but he lost the funds to be able to get the star in time. So really, really unlucky stuff, man. Waluigi could very easily be two stars ahead of where he's at right now, but instead he's sitting in last place on one. We do have a 2v2 in the form of etch and catch. This minigame is very interesting. Uh, it involves the players on each team trying to collaboratively draw circles around this moving toad. We'll see how it, it works out. 
Uh, Warren and Waluigi opting to run into each other instead of try to create a circle. Uh, Yoshi and DK choosing to make a circle, but a very, very tight knit one, unfortunately. Um, fortunately for them, it does work out. The other team, the team on the left here, answering back. Warren and Waluigi almost getting a circle there, but it did not quite work out. But we may snag a second one out. It is even here, 2v2. Five seconds on the clock. We'll see if we can see a last minute snag. It does happen in the form of the blue team, but as I say that, the red team answers back, and we're going to have a draw here. Draw. There it is. There it is. Unlucky for these guys. Everyone goes home empty handed. And this is the last turn. The players are going to make stuff happen. They have to do it now. Uh, Waluigi, closest to the star, but I don't think he's close enough to be able to make anything happen here. Will we see any last turn hidden blocks? I don't know. Oh, but the glass breaks! I think this is the first time we've seen this happen. This is... this could be substantial. We could have a battle minigame last turn. But at this point, it's looking unlikely. We'll see what DK opts to do here in the closing moments of this board. And he does choose to spend it on a potential Bowser space, but he slips! And it does not work out. Here we go. Into the fray. The final minigame of the night. It is going to be in the form of Curtain Call. Here we go. This minigame is all about uh, counting and remembering patterns. We'll see if these guys ought to do it. We do have a BKG coming in. Boo Koopa Goomba right to left. We'll see what the players are asked. These players are thinking about their answers. DK really putting a lot of thought into this. Ooh, and Yoshi, the only one picking the boo. So, uh, Yoshi goes out for a round. Uh, so instead of playing, he just has to dance, as you can see there. But it's a nice dance. It's quite a, quite a jaunty tune, so, you know, you can't help but dance along occasionally. Yeah. We do have third from the right. We'll see what the players think here. These guys are very indecisive. It's looking like it is going to be a Koopa from all players. Are they going to be able to hold on? They do. We enter into the final segment here. Yoshi still dancing along. Can I get a sour please and ditto in the chat please? Sixth person from the right. These guys are thinking about it. And we have two going for Goomba, one going for a Boo, and it is actually the Goomba. It's on the last turn. Warrior goes out. It is going to be DK and Waluigi that close this one out. And it's looking like, potentially, as we enter into the bonus stars, the tables are definitely in Dong's favor to close out this victory. He definitely has the coins. And he definitely has the stars. But we'll see what the official judges say. Mad Mike. Thanks for the 14, man. Welcome back. Here we go. Bonus stars. TK really needing that game guy to close out that victory. That was huge for him. We do have minigame star and it goes to DK. We'll see if we can get the clean sweep on bonus stars from DK. He is so far two for two. And he does, he gets the three for three clean sweep on the bonus stars. A very, very strong showing from DK through this first board. This man is killing it. It is going to be a six star to two star difference between first and second place. That is huge, guys. That is huge. DK dominated 
He definitely came alive in the second half. Very big stuff by him. Yo, thank you so much, Donut, for the three month resub. This is another month of lurk. Hey man, glad you like the streams. There it is, we have our final results coming in. It is 6 and 162 against 2 and 88 in the form of his second place, Wario. And uh, just like that, that is going to be the end of the first of hopefully many Mario Party 3 grudge matches. This has been match 12, Mario Party 3 board number one. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Whew, okay. That was, uh, I was a little worn out after that. Okay, but can we talk about...